Okay, people, I'm continuing the journey of moving on, making the changes, using my Facebook memories and whatever I can put my hands on. So I'm going to go down. Really, do they think I won't find ways to unplug the gag? I write. So I'm going to start. With the eulogy that I sent for my brother. Walford Byron Alburn in them hearts. Just came across it. Eulogy for Walford Byron Alburn in them heart. Born January 3rd, 1952, died March 27, 2008. Byron was born at Townhead, Westmoreland. He was the third child of eight children of Perlene Louise and Ivan Sandiman Nemhard. Should be fourth. For sister Yuvani died. So he became the third, so it's not really a problem. Byron was educated in the local and surrounding communities, attending Townhead Primary School and later from secondary school and further afield at Kenilworth Youth Training Center, Hanover. As a young lad, Byron inherited many of his dad's exemplary qualities and exhibited his values and beliefs in his daily life. Byron was always at his dad's side down by Akberson's land throughout rice planting and reaping season, as this was just one of the many means by which his dad supplemented his income to feed the family. Byron excelled and achieved many accolades as a sports personality at track and field athletics and cricket. Byron became a dad at the age of 20 to Derek in bracket Bob, and two years later to Marlene in bracket, Kedin with Elaine Carr, in bracket Missy. After years of struggling trying to make a life in his local community, he emigrated to the bright lights of Kingston where he had better opportunities. One of Byron's greatest desire was to serve his country as a member of the security forces. But unfortunately, he was never successful. However, this did not stop people describing, describing him as a policeman. <laughs> Maybe this can be attributed to his natural physiques of being tall and slim. Byron worked at several jobs throughout the country, from Hanover, Portland, and finally at Stony Hill Heart Academy, where he worked collaboratively in the team and making some lasting relationships with colleagues. Although Byron was living far away in Townhead, he would make it part of his duty to, to visit his family regularly in the early days. With more responsibilities, the visits became less, but he visited when he could. Byron and Annette Moore became an item, and after courting for a period, he did the honorable duty of mine her in August 1988. We were at the wedding. In December 1989, their union was blessed with a gift of a daughter, Annalise, and later Sarah Kay arrived, or Sarah Kay. Being an ambitious and proud man, Byron wanted to own his own home, so went about doing so. He bought a piece of property in St. Andrew where he built the family home. He also realized his dream of becoming an aspiring entrepreneur. 
You see, from when I'm using words to befit the story, continuing his hard work by far, farming his property, planting coffee and other provisions, right? Banana and stuff. He continued with his job at Stony Hill Heart Academy to supplement his income. Byron had been living in the hills of St. Andrew for the last 20 years of his life. The family became aware of Byron's sickness at the beginning of January 2008, after which he was given three to six months to live. Byron held on to the hope that with treatment he would be given more time. But unfortunately, this was not to be. His health deteriorated rapidly and he slipped away to be with his maker on Thursday, March 27th, 2008 in the hospital. Let us celebrate Byron's life and see his death as God being merciful and relieving him of his suffering. Byron, with the natural physique of being tall and handsome, has been called to join his dad, Ivan, brother Ashton, gang gang Elsie, and uncle Tira in the family, family plot at Gaga Street, Townhead. May his soul rest in peace, and we hope to meet in the sweet by and by. Family left to mourn are mother, Louise, Brothers, Ballis, Dustin, Texas, Amley, Irving, Sister, Merville Rat, Merville Nemhard Myers in bracket Ratty. Which that's what I'm known by. Wife, Annette, children, Annalise, Sarah Kay, Bob, Kedin, grandchildren, aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandmother, friends, godmother. Friends, please edit as appropriate. I did as best as I could. Talk to the others to find out if they want to add anything else to this. When I done it, I had AOL. 2008, 3rd of April, I done this. And that's why I am going to take out some. I'm going to take out some of these. And then I end up because I see the uh, Facebook giving me a hard time, but I can give as good as I get because Facebook has no authority to remove me. So that's why, yeah, they're doing what they're doing. As I'm doing this, as I said, I only go to bed when sleep benefits me. So see, I have some of these in here. Right, so I'm going to start from front to finish. See? Some of these in here. And I said I don't throw away nothing, people. See? So I'm going to show these. These are my first address books. <laughs> See you who is in here, Jacob Cook. So address books. So I'm gonna go to and look to whatever, and then I can chuck some out. Yeah, that's how a chronic anxiety person and oh, obsessive compulsive. It's hard to throw away things. But I'm gonna sort and throw out what what's not necessarily needed now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some picture show around. Yeah, to show you how I do things. So these were cut out to make the the thing that I done for the tribute for Luton Street staff. So it's some pictures I cut out. Yeah, in here. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I 
that's where they are. My God, see her, the Chinese retailers. <laughs> oh my God, it's a good thing I'm sorting. I see the black and white memories. My God, see. <laughs> Lambeth College. That is truly a name. Some pictures. That another year. No, see, that time my head is bald. I lose the hair right around. Part of it was the domestic abuse and whatever. So if I tell people I've lived a life, See, so this was, a, I think this is first year. I look on it to make sure, but two years I attended, here they are. I have the pictures that I... <laughs> My photo card! <laughs> oh, wow, I've got history, people. Open University. Some little cuttings from my wedding. So when my Ooh. hello, ma'am. Me not too bad. You can't give me half hour and finish this. All right, let me move away from you. Whatever you think, you make the decision. Do whatever it is your decision, okay? No, man. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. So yes, people, when my husband brought his woman over, I cut off myself of the pictures and, and, and send the rest and give him. You think me easy? Yeah, black and white. And this is me and me, me, Mr. Leicester. God is truly amazing. God. See my unison card. When I tell you I got knocked by, I got knocked. So is it any wonder I don't trust? I don't trust union. I don't trust solicitor. I've had a really torrid time with these people. Yeah? But they're going to be here to tell stories, people. And the stories must be told. So that is where that came from. So I'm putting thing. I'm just showing you what I've got. That was for the library. <laughs> Victoria Mutual Building Society. Soon I'll chop these out. So now without a school key, I can chuck that out now. Right, people, I'm going to show you history.
1984. <laughs> <What? laughs> wow, should I talk out the Victoria Mutual businesses? No, I'm not doing it yet. Fourth of the sixth, 1979. Aston Red. A.R. Wendybird, you know the A's for Aston. 79, I was pregnant with my second son. But this photograph was taken because I was supposed to be going to do something to do with college entrance, something to do with college at some shop. But I was already pregnant. And my friend was like, if it was me, I'd do an abortion. And I mentioned it to my son's father. He said he doesn't believe in abortion. So yes, I didn't just make make the decision and I'm gonna do an abortion. It's both of us. And that's why I'm telling people, be very circumspect because if I was playing around, there was no way I would, my son would get his father. Yeah? See the innocence, whatever. I was already up there, whatever, born in the hole my second child. Yeah? This I took from a passport. It's from another passport. Yeah? So this is how I cut out things. That was my mother-in-law's funeral, that dress. So yes, people, I do things. It's a person with my you see different pictures for some reason or other. I have them. Little one from my graduation. Yeah. God is truly amazing. Yeah, so these are be more pictures from wherever, for passport, for college, for whatever, whatever. So I can show you how I age down the years. Yeah, don't age much. My my chinny chin chin now has the gray here. I've had them from I was young. They always grow, and then they drop out. So I'm not very hirsute, two or three at a time. Yes, people. So this is saying RCO. That's one of the cleaning contractors that I worked with. Yeah. So I'm very like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's long time, you know, me, I love photograph and pictures. So I'm putting these back together because I can't afford to get mixed up, mixed up. So yes, I show you my granny again. <laughs> and the story my granny told me, she woke up one morning, pick a flower, smell it, and from she smell it. <laughs> I did for a moment, did not believe it. But it was later my brother says to me, no, when I, oh, my uncle, granduncle had a child, he had pretty hair. So my granduncle's explanation was, um, we have whatever in the family. So I, I naturally thought it was Indian until my brother, my elder brother said to me, no, he's not Indian, he's Chinese. But the younger generation, some of the younger generation, the Chinese features are because my niece in America asked me if I know if any Chinese in the family. And then my cousins, I've never met her. My cousin Jenny, she told me that they called the, her daughter the black Chinese. But <laughs> her features must be very pronounced. So this is one of my, they thought he, he was my son. So it's his, his children, Teddy Duhaney. So yes, people have been there. Now I can, I can 
possibly put some things, gets rid of some things after I've made them, whatever. So this really is my, I'm sure it's my NHS card. Oh, pardon me. Fourth of the 12, 1992, I got this. Yeah, 29 years. So you want to come tell me about defamation and emotional, whatever, whatever. What about, about long best start? Robert Buckland may start, yeah, the apology. See, my face, I've always worked, I come in this country. Even when I, I was going to college, I think I can joke through this now. I won't throw anything out in a hurry, I'll sort them again. Even when I was going to college, I worked. Okay. When I finished college and doing full-time nursery nursing, I used to go do my early morning cleaning and come back until I decided, you know what? I can relax now. Yeah? Are you going to take away all of that from me? No, something we'll have to give. Yeah? So the best 50 pounds I've ever spent in my life, and I'll sit and call it benefits. Because I did not put myself in the in the situation. I mean, you chose it. God is truly amazing. So today I'm gonna do another sort and do whatever what needs to be done. Yes, yeah, so I take them out this out of my passport. And I have to do things like that, people, so I don't have a breakdown. So I'm going to sort all these out eventually. And then I... ...1997. 30th of May, 1997. Yeah, so I've done my fair bit in this country to be deprived of what's mine. So that's my son's email address. I have it here. And see now, I'm just finding Gloria's details. The chef. Ah, look at this. So see, the people's princess. The boy who not chatting to me. Do I miss anything? No. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Ebony. Is her name Ebony? I think her name is Ebony, you know. Wow. It's nothing written on this, it's just as a feature. So I'm gonna use it for something. So see children at King, I, I, sometimes I look back and I say, how could I? You know, I chucked them out, I just got frustrated. That's Caris's brother. I'm gonna go through this. That's so uh, proper, proper. I have something. I must find that letter that her father wrote me. That one. So that's Nav Naveen Vivek, and that's my little friend who I said when he came to the kitchen. I had to take when he started first. The first I had to take him with me to the kitchen. I didn't put him in any danger anyway. This little one, he was short and thick. And that's my rule. That boy is a servant. Darnell, there's a little African girl. She was. And that's Flora, the one that the mother wrote. 
I remember this mixed race, mixed race girl. Her granny was Irish. Uh, I'm gonna have fun with these eventually. So see, I write some dates when I tell you I'm writing my bookie, so I have some dates. So I came to England first for a visit and went back home. After I came home 91 October and I came here. Left home 6th of June and I arrived here 7th of June 1992. See, that's how I do things. All they could hold in my head. So these are um, memory, whatever. So yes, I'm sure this lady is ebony. And when I started at Bird in the Bush, June, um, Lynn Kelly told me that they went to university together. So it's not now. If I had the opportunity, I used to come and do the, for the children. So I was uh, taking photographs and making all these things. So nobody's gonna take away what's mine. So let's see what's on this. My birth certificate, people. Copy. Girl is chewy. With love for a special sister-in-law. This thing is from Denise, but this is not Mark. Oh, Marty, Merry Christmas. And that was 2000. I'm sure this was when Rowan, he was doing ICT, so he used to make cards and stuff. So most unlikely it's from Denise. Yeah. That's my birth certificate. So I'm gonna sort these things out eventually. Yeah, Ebony, I'm sure her name is Ebony. So those are little notes that I make. People, as my horoscope says, I'm doing this for me. So that's sorted. So my RCO thing, I'm not showing it out yet. So as I said, these are my little diaries. That is truly amazing. So me, I love to pose. And as you can see, ooh. Remembrance Day, that's King's. So it's not now I'm doing all these things. Get it yet, Juno Sullivan? Me and Julie. She was a nice lady. Happy fifth birthday. So I'll be making a card for a child. That's from Kings, not. These are from Kings. Display. Another one of Ebony. So when I do pictures, I don't do one. Well, somebody else was taking the picture. That's me here in the corner. You can see my shoes. So I was always involved in these activities, did I? And that's my husband's angel trumpet at his home. It's springing back up now, so. So I have two of Ebony there and Julie. Twenty fourteen pension credit. So I would have it in here for a reason. I'm not chucking it out. Not chucking it out yet. I don't chuck anything out in a hurry because I usually live to regret. My belly is just rolling. What's happening here you now? Uh, my son's graduation, they're not very clear, but I 
Yeah, I'm not gonna, my son's graduation, my youngest son that is. So I'm just gonna show some, I've, how I've done them. I think I've done them and I photocopy it. I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a whatever mood. So that's when I introduce African clothes. They were actually bought, made in Africa, Nigeria. Yeah. So I've been doing the tradition from whatever. So I put them together. Those were taken by camera back then. Where did I take this from now? I don't know. Right, I think I'm gonna take it from the top. My God is truly. I'm gonna take it from the top and show you what I've got. This person is very persevering. Something I have here is very important for this person. So that's how I put them some more. And this is Adolf, Adolf Williams. I don't know if he's still here. You see, back in the days, I love pictures. It's just me, it's just part of telling the story. So it's not since recently. So this, some of these is just, I think Christine was here. And we just used to dress up. So I dress up and take picture. But this dress is mine and it still fits. See? I think her name was Del. Is Del. I don't know what happened to her. See, see? I love to take pictures, people. That's me. It's just. And this is a vest. I was wearing it the other day. Certain things I took belong to my brother. So I have the red one. I have the white one. And the cardigan that I brought home. Bought from home to remember my brother. Yeah. So I'm showing it. I'm showing you what I got in here for this. So when some of them is going on like whatever. So this was the house. So it evolved over the years. So this was like the veranda was concrete and we had a little bathroom concrete until it devolved into now a five bedroom house. Husband helped me to build it. my police brother. God is truly faithful. You see, I put it like graduates. <laughs> I'm a bit like that. That's Denise. My sister-in-law, that's my nephew, also a FIFA referee. See, I see like he's gone back in. But I just glimpsed little something on Facebook, so I, they're not including me. I don't let their, their business bother me. That's my brother, Amley. As you can see before, he's the whiteness takeover. That's him there in America. See the cigarette in his hand? He, his hand, he used to smoke. I don't think he still smokes. That's the first wife died. So that's how I do things, people. And to have all this taken away from me, all my years in here, you think I'm gonna, yeah? That's why when I, when I see people behave in a certain way, I just don't let it bother me. So on this side, you will see. So I started all these on Facebook. 
So I was the community hub where everybody needs to know information they go. So now they're blocking me out. Good luck to them. I've done it. I've been there. I've done it. At the T-shirt. Yeah? Candice is now a mother. So here you see. That's my brother Irvin's children. She's now a mother. She was born days before I came. 1st of June, and I left Jamaica 6th of June. Who is this one? So this is me and my little nephew. <laughs> Big trapped in my now. So this is the, the, my nephew who will be 29 on the 7th of September. He was born prematurely. Even looking at him, as I said, looking at him, you wouldn't know. And it Looking at him from up here, even now, you if you don't know that, what to, you wouldn't, cannot tell just by looking at him from up here that he has disabilities. Yeah? You see him there. He was going to be tall, over six foot tall. You can see Jevon was going to be over six foot tall. That's him and him. And I'm wondering who is this one? Is this Jace? And that's Pooch, Trisha. Yeah? So I have them here. So when they want to do, I've gone there, done that, whatever. Sive is in this one, so I'd go on out in our whatever. So this was this is Kings. Glendalyn Abawaj, when I tell you she's creative. Whenever for Christmas she do the, the, the grat of her Santa. When I say she's a creative in that aspect, I have hold no reservation to say how creative she is. She just has that natural knock for certain things. So you see the, the smile and the grin? Why should I let anybody take away anything from me? In my house. And I have the same old thing in there. So at one stage I was fat. I'd gone fat. I think I was working up at Salt Norwood this, when this was taken. Me going out. Was it too... One white girl party. Work at King's. Ah, my little baba. When I first know about skin allergy and whatever up there, oh my God. Her mom used to have to put her hand in the socks sometimes. That's Jamie's mom. I think her name was Jay Stanton. Oh, you see the little mite? <laughs> Look at her. I said, when I see it, sometimes it's creep or whatever. Sometimes, oh my God, I would love to see it. I saw this one's mother the other day in East Street Market. And I, she told me that she's a grandmother. He's 25 years old. I don't remember some of them, their names. But I remember this little one, Danny. Danny's Indian. Because... She, she, she shares my birthday. She's 19th of May. So those are little things. So you see me and Danny. <laughs> oh, Amber, what's her name again? Her father was tall and her mother was short. Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly. Those were the days. As you can see, so this was when I was doing placement, home placement at one of, she teaches at the college, but she, oh, yeah. I think her husband came from Clarendon and her mother's, her, her, her father and her mother, but I, I done placement at their home. So that was me with the little girl. Well, see my little Jamie. <laughs> oh my God. 
bicycle, but no, her mom used to ride a bicycle. Yeah, you can see her there. When she just started, it was like, wow. Those memories, I used to, what's his name? The little Banty foot one. Her dad was Jamaican and her mother from this one of the islands. So she used to, Noah, Noah Smart. They used to invite me to parties and stuff. Birthday. So that's when we went to France. So yes, that's me and Noah there. So maybe one of her, the get together. So that's we went to France. Um, Noah's mother, Cynthia, arranged it. Those children, these children in Turney, was it Turney Special School? Yeah, I think this was Turney Special School, these, these children. I remember this little boy now, Miura, I can't remember the name. Yeah, so various stages of my life in the UK, people. So I'm doing this one for this one. Just showcasing my pictures and because I don't feel sleepy. Last night I did go to bed a little early. So this is my wedding, people, as I say. And even then, I wasn't conscious enough that I have to wear a black brassiere, you see? I was 30, 31 or 32 when I got married. That's my husband's mother. So the hat I'm wearing, she lent me her hat and I went and bought my dress. Hmm. This is Olive Brown Tingling. Came to this country. I think they said she came here in her 50s. Bought her own home in Battersea. Prestige. Yeah. Hard work and whatever. My mom was here when she died. My mom came for a visit. I just discovered and Jakey was my husband's friend. At one time he used to live at home, our house. Our home. And he, since I'm doing um ancestry DNA. I realize I have cooks in my family. He has dementia, but he's on treatment and he's functioning. So his dementia is not affected. So I'm going to, I want to find out if we are related. Because we just hit it off when we meet. <laughs> it's like, so that's when we went on outing. I still have this. Yeah, I'm sure I have the, je the, the jeans. I, I still have the, the blouse. But I have to go look for the jeans if they still can fit. That's me. I remember Henley and I went out somewhere in Kensington around that side. Henley's dead. He's has him died. And as I said, I still have this suit. I bought I bought it to wear to Cecil's wedding. So these were, they were just dresses me and Christine were dressing up in and taking photographs. These are not mine. We're just dressing up and taking photographing dresses. That is truly me. I'm showcasing my photograph, people. For want of something to do. Okay, so this is the one now. Yeah? Truths must be told, people. And I put that here. So this is when we went to Mars Windsor's brother. Penaral, what's his name again? Used to work plant gum with my mother. Mars Eric, Eric Turner. Courtney, Courtney's, Courtney's father. So that was Miss Mars Eric Funeral. Me and Danny, Danny Turner. And now we see all of them come kick up their tail in them back and go on. So you see the red king picking it? Two grandmother. Eh? And boy graduate and somebody had to take the picture of post Facebook to send and give me. I did right by my son. 
I left him when he was 16 to come here for a better opportunity. So I'm not going to take whatever. So that's us. So that's my elder grandson. And that's that one. And that's my, my son with his van. Mm -hmm. So when I go home, my daughter-in-law used to work in the tourism business, so I'd get free pass to go spend time at hotel. Yeah? To where I'm at now? Why should I let anybody bother me? No, I owe nobody nothing. God is truly amazing. God is truly amazing. All right, let me finish up. Some more pictures. Beach time. Can't swim in it. Some of it is beach. You see me? So in that one over there, I'm wearing black. I remember where we were going, where there was a function. So we go, it's like funeral, and and I think there was going to be a function at the church. But um, a madman, back then they said, a madman had killed, murdered Mrs. Miller. So she used to sell by the school. I don't think it was any provoker or anything. So that's why you have to be so careful. He murdered Mrs. Miller. That's why it was so my time. This the son used to come and they come provoke me and talk about the Batman brother and whatever. And then afterward, when I posted, he he asked him questions that pretended as if he wasn't the one doing it. I just leave them all to God. Yeah? That's me and Miss Bibi. Yeah? That's me and my brother. Yeah? And I should allow anybody to take away what I have worked for, overcome adversities and obstacles in my life, and just let you take away what I've achieved. So yes, I'm a criminal, but that 50 pounds is gonna be stretched out. Yeah? That's when joy came. I promised to give her a holiday and Miss Ivy said, I'll help you pay for the ticket and for Joy to treat me like the way she's treated me. Why should I want to know them? Keep them up the arm's distance. So as you can see, meet this little Indian lady at the register when I was getting married. I understand Barry has died. That's Barry. It's Joy told me Barry has died and I must call Miss Ivy, you know, but you see when you have your own problems and things like that, it's very hard to whatever. I should call and, and talk to her, but I'm going to try and find the time and give her a call. See how she's getting on. Because I remember when she, this is her second child, so she's buried to Everton. See, man in school. Me take these. When we when I go home, then it that was at my nephew's birthday because party near to the Christmas season. So that's my police brother. And more pictures of my son's graduation. Yeah. God is truly amazing. You see more pictures? See more pictures? That's in Hanover, that one. You see how I find time to sit down and do things astutely? And, okay, so that's the christening. Hey, I'm going to get something to do, whatever. Huh? As you can see, when my daughter-in-law here, here is long, it's red down there. So when they we go home and tie up the picnic headboard, whatever. She has Chinese in her too. So my gra my grandson have Chinese, proper, proper Chinese, you know, for a fact. So he might have Chinese on both sides. A little bit of Chinese. A little bit of China in my life. Little bit of in my life. You see? 
Yeah? Why should I let anybody deprive me of what I work for? Look at the smile on my face. The Anna said, me and my niece, and my niece not talking to me now. Why should I bother? Family, whenever I go home, there's always, we had a meeting up at some family's yard or they come home to us and whatever. That was the way it was. Yeah. The last picture of my brother was taken in America. That's my mother in her bed. And that's me, took this, my son in the corner there. You see how slim and trim I was, basic school teacher. And I am going to let you take away all that I've worked for. You give me a criminal record. Thanks very much. Mm. Who needs who? Who needs emotional whatever? Yeah. Pictures of get together at home. Pictures of my brother. Three months of my brother was gone. More get together when I go home. I have to put some washing in the machine tomorrow. Yeah? So I make them. So I'm going to, whatever needs to be done properly. I'm sure I have them on to me, but I can always do them up again to suit the situation and whatever. So I'm going to finish up now. So close up of the house. But it's all different now. God is truly amazing. God is truly amazing. Ah, look at him. <laughs> my brother, my little brother, when he was going to manage. Oh, God. See? The two little boy. I grew up my sons to be together. And some people now is going to separate my sons. He looks exactly like me. So you see how little he was. He was tiny. They used to call him Webster Man. My son is gonna come and visit me. Graduation. Class of 1997. So whilst he was graduating from Manning School, I was gonna be starting Lambert College. And you take away all that from me. And I just let you take it and start over. So you see, can you see the... the, the, the <laughs> and brother and my youngest son. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sort this properly and I'm going to do something. God is truly amazing. Hey, my mama and my baba and my son. It's 
God's cleansing of the soul and moving on and whatever they do, they won't be able to stop me. So he used to get the photographer come around. You see, my son, as I said, he grew his height by, he was like me, like I was 12 when I grew my height. So see, so you see the difference between them. Yeah, so I'm going to sort these out again. Did I show this already? I think I have them two times. So yes, people, that's what I do and how I created legacy. And I'm going to continue and go brighter place. Forget about, put the past behind me. Don't live with too much regret. But some people will have to pay the price. That 50 pound is going to stretch. So that's more of me at Lambert Walk Day Nursery. That is truly amazing. That is truly amazing. So this would be me. See, I photocopy. So this would be me. It has showed this already. Hmm? One is serious and when I'm smiling. Yeah. So I'm going to clear out and do what I need to do. Okay. Okay. So yes, people, that's it basically. So I have so much to do now. I'm going to put that period behind me. And move on, but there are stories to be told, and I'll be using some of these. Yeah, to tell those stories, the inspiration of the preacher send the sinner to the altar, soul and fire. Blessed Holy Ghost came down. It fall on the young. Blessed Holy Ghost came down. It falls on the young. Blessed Holy Ghost came down. It falls on the young. The inspiration of the preacher send the sinner to the altar, soul on fire. Blessed Holy Ghost. I'm going to put some coal in the machine tomorrow. Yeah? And I'm going to finish up and show you that I will not allow anybody to take my joy. So I kept this because I always go to the service, done interview. I'm on winter. See, I have walking away from. So I'd have more than one. As I said, I'm not chucking out anything until I have time to sort. So these would be. This is for Miss Ivy.
And I understand she started the, the school in her home, basic school at her house, and then it was removed. It was later transferred to the Town at Baptist Church. And I said I, I started doing a piece on her because somebody was telling me information and then see how much. This is Joyce Legister. Cancer. She died left Kenneth, Kenneth's dementia. And then I've since heard that one of Kenneth's sons died. I don't know if it's heart attack or what. Carl, so I was at this funeral. I was at Mel's funeral. So it's Carl said he's given up his job to take care of, of his dad because they're not working with him, giving him the time that's necessary for him. So he has to make that decision. So that's Melford Legister Mel. So that's Kenneth's brother. I was at his funeral. They took the body home. So I'm keeping these for a reason. And then when I do what I need to do, I just chuck them out. So see how sentimental I am when I went to the Macmillan, whatever. So I need to, oh, I'm not chucking anything out until I've finished, done the proper sorting. Friends of the Heart Foundation, so I used to go to their ball. Charles Robinson, Table Tree. Black Cultural Archive. So I'm going to so go through these things. Five hundred Jamaicans in the UK. So this is my little book that I've got things written in, and this is my card piece. See, I have my card, I have my T-shirt because I had intended to do my little business. So who needs them? Emotional, whatever, whatever. We know they are liars. And possible pedophiles and murderers. Yeah. So these are just some things I don't think I need to show that now. It's not important now. So here we are, footballers. Here we are. And I'm going to let you take away 29 years of my life after I've been through this. Banks involved. So I learned that Sam King, the first black mayor of Southwark, and that's the charge of thingy. I need this to use, especially for the JLP. Yeah? Charge up. <laughs> costly, costly decision for legislation. So I'm going to use all this. These people must stop it, man. My brother. I've done it already, but I'm doing it again. So when Andrew Holy's niece bought me something on there about town hall and Facebook is stopping me, well, I have everything here. I'm that type of a person. Not a throwaway person, so I can always do something. So when I, I bought the paper and I and I sent, like when I came in the nursery world, I got copies and I sent and I, I bought to, to Jamaica. That's who I am. I go to Jamaica, I take loads of pictures. I pass them up, come, them times go to the, pay to clean them, pass them up, send, send them to the people. That's what I used to do. That's why I don't, couldn't give a thought what anybody wants to do. I'm doing my Billy Myers. So this is my card. Yeah? 
So maybe mental health and self advocate. Maybe time now to start doing things and whatever, whatever. I've got my shirt. I've got pants. So over and out. Because soon it's almost 11.30 and I need to finish it around the place and then go have a rest. I'm going to get up and put some clothes in the machine tomorrow and continue with the cleaning up. Blessed Holy Ghost came down He falls on Zion Blessed Holy Ghost came down It falls on Zion The inspiration of the preachers and the sinner The altar Soul on fire. Blessed Holy Ghost came down. It falls on the young. Blessed Holy Ghost came down. It falls on the young. Blessed Holy Ghost. Bless up man. Bless up Paula. When we operate, when we when we run operations, remember you know it now go off on a year, say now go off on a year, say about when they have two hundred, now give them a go off a factual thing. Because then they then them run them operation and see where I go on. When we run operation here with customs, chasing firearms, and when we follow up the money, as we do, you know, say we are gonna do it, you know, as we do. Our American colleagues have the same experience as well as Canada. That means them run operation and follow up the money them same way. So when you can't go to a politician and hide and in a in a in a in a in a in a mag and house and go on and go on with them foolishness. It is striking still to after you know, how the trail lead to a politician and come to somewhere. You see this? This kind of situation is sad. 
and say if the Prime Minister is determined to tackle, but to take political leadership, that means they're not telling the same man a leader either. Straight up. Straight up. Because if you're a Prime Minister, and they say they take political leadership, that means if you can't control them out. If you can't control them out, and, and it goes to the hand. Yeah. Yeah, you have the political mob and the motor, and you can't control it neither. And then look, by the way, it don't matter the position you're in, know, when you're prime minister, you have this, you have that, you have this, and that. When I look back in, I look for the record from where you are. Are you going at this? That's the place of corrupt country. You can't make so much country in the best in the West, 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 because all money are coming out of the money. The industry is the survival. They have to survive out of the book of the US them trade by. You never see, you ever see a Chinese dollar yet? And not Korea that are money yet? You ever see yen yet? Yen? And they say go to China and then place them. You ever see not Korea money yet? And you know what they're money there? You ever see them yet? And they see them try, go to them place them. You know, when you get poor in Canada and, and US and Europe. Mm -hmm. And it's better than the US trade by everything we only. That's why the, the reserve of that like, three billion US. If you have to reserve them, we don't suffer them. We can't feed the people six weeks, whether goods or something, six weeks. That I hear, six weeks. They can't buy that six weeks, whether goods, depending on the thing. See? 